Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Ranger 363V Restoration. This is part 12 of the series, and this clip might look familiar because this is what the boat looked like at the end of the last video when I got everything out of the back of the boat, and it's still disgusting. And in this video, we're going to be cleaning it up, replacing the aerators and the bilge and all the hose that connected it all. And not that this stuff didn't work. Honestly, I didn't check it but I just felt that it just needed to be replaced. And as you can see, it had an old Tsunami from Atwood uh, bilge and aerator, and then a pretty old Atwood aerator. Maybe the original, I'm not sure. If you know, comment down below. And as you can see, the hose is just old and <laughs> moldy, and why not just go ahead and replace it? So we're just gonna go ahead and push all this aside, and we're gonna check out the new stuff that we got, and it's gonna make the back of this boat look really really good so i just went ahead and got some new hose i don't know what kind of hose this is but i got some one inch and some three quarter inch to replace the original hose so if you're to do this project you only need one inch and three quarter inch and i got two new atwood tsunami 800 gallons per hour uh, aerator pumps and a 800 gallon per hour automatic bilge pump from rule and we're going to be using stainless steel hose clamps uh just you know it's just a nice added touch so without further ado guys let's just go ahead and get into it I got the Atwood uh, aerators installed and I just had to make one little modification to this piece of fiberglass and so I just had to cut a little slide out so that they could fit a lot better. If you're having trouble getting the hose onto any of the pieces of PVC, as my dad said, a little bit of lubrication never hurt nobody. Here's the new aerator system, a little partial little bit of it that I assembled outside the boat. And man, it's looking really, really good. I'm really excited to get it installed into the back of the boat. But first, we gotta get this all cleaned up and you're gonna be amazed about how much of a transformation the back of the boat gets. If a hose is being particularly difficult to install, just putting a little bit of heat to it, probably using a heat gun would be better than having a torch. And also, don't forget your lubrication. I used Vaseline, uh, just you know, rub it around there and it slides right in. Oh, 
Oh, there she is, guys. Look how clean the back of this boat looks, just with a little bit of elbow grease. In case you forgot, this is what it originally looked like. It's just nasty in there. But now, we're all nice and clean. New hoses, new bilge pumps, new aerators. I didn't switch the shutoff valves, but... And I'm also not really sure where I'm going to put this aerator yet. It obviously needs to be further back in the boat. But with this kind of hose, it's just not as flexible as the original one. So I'm probably going to have to change that fitting. But guys, there it is. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And check back next week for part 13, where we're going to be working on maybe the electrical part of the boat. Until then, see you next week.